Hello, Auto Hakirs, Auto Hakis, Ease. I don't know. What do you guys want to be called? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I never really thought about that till I just said that. But anywho, I'm Tom with Tab Nation, and today we're going to be talking about PowerPoint with Microsoft Office. I'm using 2019, I believe. Um, so yeah. Finally got a hold of all that. Thanks for the guy, I forget his username, who helped me with that kind of stuff. Uh, I've never had Office, really, uh, in the last, like, 15 years, except for at work, but not on my personal computer. So this is going to be great. I have, you know, Access, Office, uh, you know, Outlook, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos coming up using comms, mostly, with these programs. If you guys have any ideas on what you want to see that I don't cover in the next few videos having to do with Microsoft Office, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'd be happy to try to see what I can do there. So PowerPoint, I'm starting off with that because it is definitely the easiest. Uh, there's really not a lot of comms stuff that you can do when it comes to PowerPoint. You know, it's really just a presentation thing, so that's fine. We really don't need a lot. Uh, Word, uh, that one I'm definitely looking forward to because that one by far has the most comms, you know, just because you can do simple stuff too, like bolding and whatnot. But today we're just going to be doing a quick PowerPoint. All right, let's take a look here at what we got going on. So the first thing I want to say is I'm starting to get used to making sure I put V1 auto hockey since there is a bit of a transition going on over the next few years into version 2, especially when it goes out of beta, I'm sure. So I'm just adding that in there. I recommend you guys do that too, especially if you're going to be sharing your scripts. That way people know right away how to run it. So yeah, basically we're uh, going to start here. We're using OPPT as our uh, name here. You can obviously change this whatever you want. If you do, make sure you do change it in the other places as you see here to match that or it will not work. So we're gonna create the uh, com object. We're looking for an active window here or a program, meaning that PowerPoint needs to be running in order for me to use the script or it'll throw an error. Uh, you can always uh, do a new one here where you say, I think it's like create, com object, create. Uh, but I like using active just so I don't accidentally push like my hockey or something and then suddenly opens PowerPoint and starts doing stuff. So I kind of like to have it active that way like it doesn't trigger when I don't want it to or it's less likely to. So we're going to be obviously connecting to PowerPoint, the application. So that's just kind of our setup here is basically is doing that connection there. I am using the hotkey F1. Obviously, you can change that to whatever you please. And then we're going to be using that same thing up there. Visible equals true. That means I want to see the result, basically. You can change this to false, in which case it will do whatever it's supposed to do, but you won't see it happening. Obviously, for this video, I want you guys to see what's happening, so I'm going to be using true. And probably most of you will be using true anyway, because obviously you want to see your end result work. So yeah, so the first thing we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to go ahead, now that we're over here, we're using that OPTT, Presentations, Add. So we're creating a new one. We're creating a new presentation. And now we're just going to name it PT. Once again, change that to whatever you want. Um, yeah, so there's two ways to create slides. You can use a loop, uh, which is definitely the cleanest way to do it. So loop 5, that means we're going to be creating five new slides. And we're just doing PT, Slides, Add. And just leave this at one by one. If you change it, you're uh, pretty much going to throw an error at some point. So just leave it at one by one. Uh, but yeah, slides, add. The other way you can do it too, which I have commented out, is you could do it individually. So up here I'm doing five, loop five. So I'm creating five. But you could always do it this t way too if you wanted to, you know, kind of see a breakdown a little bit easier. So here, you know, we're doing the same code here, but not in a loop. We're doing line by line. So we're doing five. You know, I definitely recommend doing the loop. I mean, if you're only creating like two slides, I mean, this isn't a big deal. Maybe don't do the loop, whatever. It's whatever you want to do. Uh, the next thing, and I think this is by far my favorite uh, thing you can do with PowerPoint and AutoHotKeys, is we're going to be using that pt.saveas. And in parentheses and quotations, we're going to put the file path of where we want to save our presentation. And we're going to be saving it as a PDF. 
So just name whatever you want. So I'm just naming it my slides. Obviously, you can change that, change the file path to whatever you want. Uh, you can always also add right before here, maybe you could add a like an input box that would save a file path to a variable, or you could have it open in Explorer, which would probably be the best way to go and just have it saved as a variable and then have it there. That way you don't have to change the code every time you want to save it somewhere different. So that's something you could play around with too. I've done videos on that. So then right here, we're just going to do PP, ha ha ha, save as PDF. And you can really name that differently if you're not naming it, if you're not saving it as a PDF, you can change that. Uh, the little dots equals 32. Now, 32 means PDF. There's a whole bunch of them. Let's see if I have that list available. If not, I will put that in the description below for you guys because that will definitely help you all out. Uh, it doesn't look like I saved it, but that's fine. I'll put the link in the description below explaining what this code means. So 32 is PDF, but there's a whole bunch. You could save it as like, you know, this file, that file, or, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, and you could obviously, if you need to save it into two types of format, you could just copy and paste this, put it down here, and just change that in 32 to whatever, if you want to save it in two different ways at the same time. So that's fine. Uh, the next thing we got is oppt.quit, and that's basically going to disconnect us uh, from PowerPoint. I have that commented out because obviously I don't want it to quit right away. That way I can show you what really happened. And then we're going to have a return. So the next thing we got is, oh, I think I have duplicate hotkeys here. Yeah, F1, F1. So let's go ahead and fix that. So F2, and we'll use F3. Uh, the next thing you can do is if you basically wanted to remap the next and the previous to switch between slides versus having to use like the arrow key, maybe you want to use something else like A and D if you're a gamer. Um, so FT, we're going to do OPT, active presentation, slideshow window. So it's targeting whatever window and it doesn't need to be in slideshow mode. You can't just have it kind of like an edit mode. This won't work. It probably will throw an error. We'll try that out. Dot view and then next. And basically the same thing down here, but previous. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Next slide, last slide. So yeah, let's see this thing in action, shall we? What did I call it? PowerPoint? Ah, simple enough. Alrighty, hold on here. What did we throw an error on? Operation unavailable. Let's take a look at that. Why is that? Oh, duh. So I'm glad that happened. <laughs> so I'm going to run it. It's saying the operation is unavailable. Well, like I said, you have to have PowerPoint running. So yeah, I'm glad I accidentally did that. So let's go ahead and run PowerPoint. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, definitely do. Bell notification, like it up. Doing two, three videos every week for you guys, having to do with auto hotkeys mostly. I branch out from time to time to show you some other stuff that has to do with automation for job, work, and gaming. All right, so we got PowerPoint open now. Now my script should work. There we go. So I'm glad I made that mistake. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to press F1, which is going to do that new creation, five slides. And there it goes. So it created a new one. And as you see, there are five slides here. So that's pretty, pretty simple there. I'm going to rerun it because I think we disconnected when we did. Or no, we didn't because I commented out that quit. All right. So let's go ahead and go into slideshow mode here uh, from current slide. So basically, I can just now push F3. And F2. Actually, I guess you guys can't see that very well. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Getting a little lag there. Oh, also I'm pushing the wrong key. Sorry, everybody. There we go. I cannot type. My microphone's in the way, so it's hard to see the keyboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and label these so you can actually see which slide is currently being viewed so that we can see it move a little better. We'll start in slide three. 
So as you see, you got number three there. We're gonna go ahead and press, hold on. Let me make sure you guys can actually see this. There we go. Okay, so we got, we're on slide three. I'm gonna go ahead and push F4 or F3, which goes back to previous. F2 goes forward. So as you see, we can just easily remap what next and previous is. So that is pretty much really all you can do with comms and PowerPoint. There is some like image manipulation you can do, but playing around with that, it kind of sucks to be honest. So when it came to the images, I just found it better to just manually do it myself, unfortunately. But hopefully this at least helps you with something in your presentation in the future, even if it's just creating the slides that you know you're going to need X amount every single time. All right. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, blood type, whatever, definitely let me know in the comments below, and hopefully I can help you guys out. All right, I'll see you on the next Microsoft Office comms video. See ya. Thank you.